To whom it may concern, I have a pretty sweet review about your ThinkPad, Lenovo. Hey, what's good, Lucarinates? It's your boy, Tyler, and we are here with a brand new video for the first time in six months. I know, I'm sorry for being gone for so long, but I'll explain everything in another video. Anyways, today's not about that. What we're actually gonna be taking a look at is this beautiful Lenovo ThinkPad T440S. Now before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified whenever I make future videos, as that is really something to think about. See what it did there? Anyways, let's start the video. A while back I purchased this ThinkPad on eBay for $160 plus $21 shipping because I needed a new daily driver for what I considered to be a $200 MacBook Pro killer. It had all the specs I was looking for, more on that later, so I sold my current laptop at the time, the Lenovo X1 Carbon. Don't worry, it's getting its own video soon. And I bought the T440S and the rest was history. So, after five days of waiting, I came home from work to find the ThinkPad and its genuine Lenovo charger in a huge box outside my door, and I could not have been more thrilled. The build quality of this laptop is divine. It is abundantly clear that Lenovo was using IBM's design language in terms of style and durability, except a little bit more modern, although it did not come with an operating system. However, I knew which OS I wanted to install on it. Can you guess which one it is? Place your bets now- I'm just kidding. You've read the title, I decided to install macOS on this guy. So I made this little announcement over to the ThinkPad subreddit, link to that will be in the description below, and uh, this is where the crap storm of Linux ThinkPad users starts coming in and just straight up ganging up on me. No offense to you all, but most of the comments were like, why don't you use Windows? Why don't you just use Linux? This is a disgrace to the ThinkPad community, blah blah blah. Two reasons for you. One, it's my money. I can do what I want with this laptop. Number two, it's that ecosystem. Yes, that's right. The number one reason why people have iPhones is because of that ecosystem. Anyways, I followed a tutorial online. Link to both that and the files will be in the description below. Installed the OS, mounted the EFI folder to the boot drive, and we are fully up and running with the latest version of macOS Big Sur. So what are the specs of this machine? The ThinkPad T440S is rocking an Intel Core i5-4300U dual core processor clocked at 1.9 gigahertz but you also have hyper-threading, so you basically get four cores with this guy. You also get eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, a 500 gigabyte hard drive for storage, and 16 gigabytes of solid state storage just for quick boot, you know what I mean? Yeah, perfect combination if you ask me. Port selection is amazing, at least compared to Apple's M1 offering. Okay, a little side note, this script was written before the M1 Pro and M1 Max MacBooks came out. So if you're watching this, Please don't hurt me. USB-A, VGA, Ethernet, mini display, SD card reader, SIM card reader, and a dock connector are all really nice to see on a laptop nowadays. The ThinkPad is rocking a 14-inch 1600 by 900 TN matte finish display. Colors are fine, viewing angles are okay, and it does get bright enough for outdoor use. It might be mediocre to most enthusiasts, but I believe it gets the job done. The webcam might not be winning any awards in terms of quality. I mean, it still kind of decent you know i use this for like zoom webex whatever you use for your video chatting needs and uh it works out perfectly fine microphones are okay though but if i was going to be doing anything serious like audio recording for example i would just plug it in a microphone now i know some of you are going to give me flack for not talking about the keyboard and let me tell you right now this keyboard is excellent and dare I say even better than my Dell E4300 which I did a video on about two years ago. Link to that will be in the description below if you want to go see that. I don't recommend watching it, it's an older video. But anyways, this keyboard is so comfortable to type on despite it being an island style or chiclet keyboard with a little concave on each key cradling your fingertips plus a good amount of travel and it's even backlit. Now I'm not saying this keyboard isn't up to the old ThinkPad standard with their classic seven row 
row keyboard like on the T25, T420 or older, but this is way better than any other brand of laptop that you can buy new or used. Moving on to the trackpad, I mean, while I love it, most ThinkPad purists hate it. I'll get to that in a minute. But to its credit, it does track well, all the macOS gestures are supported, and everything feels buttery smooth. The track point is a bit of a different story. While you can still navigate through basic applications, you still can't click with the track point, which leads me into the reason why most ThinkPad fans hate it. And that is because Lenovo decided to ditch the left, right, and middle click buttons on the touchpad. However, this is a non-issue for me because I pretty much just use the trackpad on a regular basis anyway. Moving on to the sound quality, the sound quality is okay. Not amazing, but perfectly fine for what you'd expect out of laptop speakers. Just listen to how it sounds with JPV's High NCS 10th Anniversary Remix. So, what was macOS like for me on this guy? To be honest, I have no complaints at all. It is a near one-to-one -one experience with a real MacBook. iCloud, iMessages, Handoff, Continuity, Siri, the seamless integration with iPhones within the Files app, and the Find My features all work perfectly. Basically, almost everything works out of the box, except for two features. The AirDrop feature only works half of the time, and the AirPods integration isn't that seamless. It's pretty unstable. Please let me know in the comment section below if there's anything I could do to fix that. But enough with the features. What is it like to actually use this guy on a regular basis? Web browsing and watching YouTube on this guy was a total breeze. Even watching YouTube videos in 4K worked perfectly. And because it's a ThinkPad, productivity is no slouch on this guy. I had a great experience typing up school assignments, scripts, to anything you could think of in Microsoft Word. And it's all thanks to that keyboard. I also had a great time trying to figure out everything in Final Cut Pro. Yeah, I know it was a bit of a learning curve, but after a couple days, I totally got the hang of using the software. In fact, this video was made entirely using Final Cut Pro. And this ThinkPad was able to hold its own, especially after I upgraded it to 12 gigabytes of RAM during the making of this video. Photoshop CC 2019 ran perfectly on here without any hiccups at all. Here's the thumbnail for this video. FL Studio also ran great on here. This laptop is able to produce some pretty fire tracks. Moving on over to gaming, we have Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Averaging around 90 FPS, this is definitely more than playable. Granted, this game came out 10 years before this laptop came out. The next game in our list, so that way the YouTube algorithm respects me, is Friday Night Funkin', and this game runs buttery smooth, averaging around 64 FPS. The controls were responsive, and I honestly had a good experience, even though I don't know how to play this game for the life of me. CSGO ran perfectly running under NVIDIA's GeForce Now servers at 120 FPS. In a game where split-second timing counts, this is honestly perfect for me. Granted, I suck at the game, but at least I can suck in style. As we take a bit of a different direction, we have Sonic Rubble Blast 2, which is a Sonic fan game based off of the Doom engine of all things, which you could expect it runs extremely well. I don't know what frame rate exactly, because there's no frame rate counter or whatever, but it runs well enough where I can say this is somewhat playable. And the last game on our list, despite it not being that relevant anymore, we have Fortnite Battle Royale, which averages around 120 FPS. And honestly, that is a perfect frame rate for me. It's not too crazy high, not too low, it's just perfect. Battery life is alright, averaging around 5 hours with the 3 cell battery, but I do plan on getting a genuine 6 cell battery at some point, so maybe it'll probably be even better around like 9 hours or so. Who knows? So what's my final verdict? Should you go out and buy a T440S today? And to be honest, I have to say, hell yeah, it's worth it. Especially if you need a MacBook for under $200, for web browsing, email, school, work, gaming, video editing, all of that, just for under $200. And so with that, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, hit that like button. If you didn't, well, that's cool too. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell right next to it to be notified whenever I make another video. And don't forget to follow me on all of my social medias. And until next time, peace out, Lucario Knights.